welcometemforest.com or a YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Temforest Consulting. Hey, are you looking to grow uh, your business in the coming year? Are you excited about uh, the coming year and looking for some tips and ideas uh, to grow your business? I've got three ideas for you today as far as growing your business and thinking about uh, how to be successful. And what we're going to talk about are three numbers. So there's three things uh, that I, with my clients, I look for in uh, managing the business and going forward. And just very quickly, those three things are the channel numbers, category numbers, the popula uh, population mark market development numbers. And so let's, let's talk about that, what those exactly are. The channel numbers, what I like to do with my uh, clients and what lay out with my clients, I've got a, a a, a book of spreadsheets information that we need and it can be in any it can be in multiple formats we can we can do this with accounting programs but it's important to capture the trade class in food there's generally approximately 14 different uh, trade class categories and i've got those in other videos and i write about those but specifically we're looking for instance supermarkets would be a trade class uh fresh Fresh, uh, fresh markets, um, you know, natural food stores would be a category. Um, wholesalers, uh, let's say produce markets, you can go on uh, drug stores, leisure segments, stadiums, you just there's uh, food service. So in food service, you have fine dining, you have fact, you know, factory feeding, uh, you might have um, uh, within the food service within the leisure segment, you'd have, say, theme parks, stadiums, uh, uh, raceways, et cetera. So, but, but there's, uh, there's all these different channels. It's important to understand where is it that you are, have been successful in the past year. So what channels are doing well and growing and understanding where your business is, uh, and think about your business and channels. It's so much easier to grow your business, uh, when you think about executing within channels, instead of just focusing on searching for customers. And so that's the first thing I want to know, what are we doing in the channels? Where are we having the success? Uh, where you know where are the opportunities and uh, emphasis that we can put into those channels? The next one is category, and so this is simply based off product descriptors. And so we're thinking about uh, the the product. It, you know, if you're a beverage company, you might have, for instance, um, you could think about if we have a line of natural products, if we have a line of fruit beverages or dairy beverages or uh, vegetable you know, vegetarian uh, be beverages that are, are great for vegetarians or organic. It just, it, it can go on and on, but you want to, you want to organize uh, your products uh, by category and kind of understand what's happening uh, within your product category uh, of your, of your overall view. So instead of a, uh, a lot of companies uh, don't, don't get this granular and then they just look at their their business overall and they end up looking at individual items that are doing well like this item is doing great they but there's information data and insights that can be discovered by going down the list and looking at all the different categories that your uh that your company produces and sells in and uh, the next area is market development so this is a population number and so this is a, this is a very important uh, for growing your business uh, and scaling your business later on, but it'll give you so much insight. If you're selling in three different regions, you want to real simple is is capture the population of uh, and we have and population is going to be shoppers and consumers, total shoppers and consumers in those regions. So you want to capture the population and then compare that uh, to your sales for the area. So what is your market development index uh, in those regions? So for instance, if someone's selling, if you're selling the same amount, if um, someone's selling the Midwest and someone, another sales team, a broker, sales rep, that covers the Northeast, you want to compare those populations and see what is the market development? Um, are we achieving, you know, uh, some percentage of sales? For instance, let's just say we're hitting 1% of the population um, in the Midwest and in uh, the Northeast, we're hitting a similar, um, similar sales number. But yet we're not even we're not we're not even attempt uh, we're not even close to uh, hitting that that one percent number. It starts to give us it starts to give us some um, some understanding and validation of where our most successful programs are, where we're where we're competitive, what's happening, 
and uh, looking for opportunities for us to grow. And it's all about shoppers and consumers. And it's uh, oftentimes people want to just manage the business, the uh, food business on dollars and sales. Oh, we're doing great. We're selling so much product here. When in reality, the opportunity is on populations and you can get very granular with this. And this is very valuable. The average supermarket uh, there's 8,800 people that get their groceries from that supermarket. And so it's valuable to understand uh, where the upside is uh, with those uh, with those shoppers. You know, the average product in a grocery store does not even doesn't doesn't even hit a percentage of those uh, of those 8,000 consumers. And so there's so much opportunity and this will share with you and show you on paper where your opportunities are. And so. Uh, let's go back. Uh, let's go back and talk about these these three th numbers again. And again, I like to have these for analytics and a spreadsheet and accounting software, whatever the, the program is uh, that allows you to look at this on a normal basis. This is a great time uh, at the start of the year to look back on 2022, uh, the past year and how how you performed in these different areas. But we want to look at how did we do in channels? Um, what what were our sales in supermarkets? What were our sales in convenience stores? What were our sales in the natural food segment or online? Uh, we want to look at these channels and understand our sales there. See where we're growing, uh, where we didn't do well, or where the, there are opportunities. And you can, uh, from my other video, uh, you can look at, um, and I'll, I'll put a link below for my other video that we talk about channels. And you can look at all the uh, other channels and see if there's opportunities for you. Uh, the next one we talked about uh, categories. You want to look at uh, product descriptors and align similar products in your company uh, together for a sales number. So the refrigerated items, the organic items, beverage, et cetera. But just think about us uh, and a way to organize your products and then look at those sales, similar products within the category, then look at those sales numbers. And then the last one, was market development. So market development, and we want a market development index. The way we do that is that we get a population for a region or area of our sales territory, sales, a sales territory, and we we look at our sales that go across through that region of population. So we need the population number, and then we need our sales number, and we just compare the two. It's very simple. Um, that's one of the reasons uh, that I, I align our sales regions against census regions and we can get into them. Anyway, I hope this information was helpful. If you have an innovative product, I would love to talk to you. Jump on my schedule at timforestmarkets.com. Or if you have a question, send me a note, tim at timforest.com. Hey, be sure to like and subscribe for this video. Also, I've got a great new resource this year. Uh, my book is available now, and it's uh, everybody, everyone's got a recipe. It's the uh, five, five proven ingredients, uh, for, to take food makers to millions and uh, jump on my website, timforest.com. Um, you can see how to get that there. Thanks a lot. And I appreciate you watching today.